Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. I know it's been quite a while and since my last YouTube video, but now I've come out with something super interesting and more and more easier than you think. Like multiplying with large numbers. You might think it's very hard, but actually it's really easy. You see? I've done nine eight seven six five four three two one times nine. So, if I try, if I put, the important step is to count how many digits there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, can we start again? Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. I know it's been quite a while since my last one, but still, I've come up with something even more interesting than normal. Yeah, you might think large numbers multiplied by single digits are really hard. But it's not. Here, I've given, I'll give you an example. This one's time silent. I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh, start again. I don't think I've got the hand. Please. Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. I know it's been quite a while since my last YouTube video, but I've come up with something even more interesting than usual. I've... You might think that... You might think that large numbers are really hard to do when you when you're doing multiplying but really it's not i'm going to show you how to have fun with the nine times table here nine eight seven six five four three two one times nine you might think that's really really hard but if you the, the important thing is nine eight seven that's three digits six five four that's another three three two one that's another three that equals nine. You have to always count out the digits, but never forget this one. So that'll be ten digits. So if I write the nine that down, if I write the nine down somewhere like here, you might have to make a guess about how long your number's going to last. You never know. You might accidentally do a bit too big or a bit too small. You have to make the guess. It's all right because as long as you're not using a pen, you can easily rub it out and put it back. So, if you do 9, so what's 1 less than 9? That's 8. So I do 9, 8. It's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And don't forget the commas. So I've done, so this is my answer. And that's all really with very simple steps. I'll make it one step harder for myself. I'm now doing 987 654 321 times 18. You might think that's even harder, but it's just the same technique I used up there. But I know there's going to be 10 days. But this time there's going to be 11 because of the two numbers over here. So if I put the 8 here, I don't put the 18 in there, and I put the 8 here and the 1 here. And then, still, I've made a guess of how big my number's going to be. I might have to readjust my numbers to make them fit. So, what's 1 less than 8? That's 7. So I go 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, I've made, I might have put that a bit too far away. I just rub it out. And I can use this put the eight there. Now don't forget the commas. Yeah. So this is the number I've come out with, and that's also very easy. Just for good luck, you make sure I haven't been doing flukes. I'll do one more. So I do exactly what I did on the top. Two. One less than seven, six. So I'll do nine, six, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Still, my seven's a bit too far away. So instead of rubbing out the whole number, I'm only rubbing out a little bit so I can put the seven back. So here, don't forget the commas again. If you forget the commas, I think that'll be a bit of a tragedy. Okay? Here's my numbers. That's very easy. 
And and also this pattern, this all this larger numbers would only work with the nine times table. See? Because I'm times in nine, eighteen, twenty seven. So that's nine times one, nine times two, nine times three. And and also you can go further. I'm gonna give you a ch and here's a challenge for yourself. Once you think you've understood this well enough, try every single number in the nine times table that you know and see if you could and see if you can and see if you can multiply them like this. And but make sure it's always nine eight seven six five four three two one you're multiplying. And also when you're doing this. I want you to see which ones you can multiply and which ones don't follow the rules. If they don't follow the rules, you'll probably end up with some minus one or something, and that isn't the one you want, do you? You want a full number in the middle. So goodbye. See you next time.